Yeah, yeah, what's going on everyone? So today I'm gonna be working on another set of BK2 taillights to do some semi-clears. Hopefully like most of y'all who watch the videos know that I do make these semi-clears and full clears. But yeah, so right now I'm just gonna kind of show you the process a little bit, not fully, but show you how to like somewhat take it all apart, put it back together. I'm definitely gonna skip around a little bit, but I'm just gonna show you, you know, before and after and then like on the car and everything so my idea for these right now i think i want to do just of course chrome inner but then have the red be black instead or do chrome on the outside so i don't i don't know yet but i think i'm just gonna go with what i have right now and then i'll have these for sale sometime this week so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take all these little black screws out Got one two three here to there, deep all the way down in there. Got another one That's down in there, and then you've got one right there. Um, it's not too much, but you know. And then this type of Phillips tip, literally like the best thing you could have for this. Like, it gets all the way down in there. You don't even gotta struggle, fight with anything. You know, if you don't have one, if you wanna make these, go get one of these. Remove this, it slides straight out. Like don't pull up, don't like try to fight it. You just pull straight out. You won't break nothing, you know. Might you might be a little stuck because it's just been there forever, but just pull straight out. That's it. Alright, now that the uh, all the little screws are removed, you're gonna wanna now take out all the like just pull the bulbs out. You don't have to like fully remove them. You just pull them out a little bit, you know, get them out of the way because you don't want to break the bulbs or anything like that. But another thing, you're gonna want to slide this off and then you're gonna want to get in here and remove, like separate this clip and like take it off from the, uh, the inside plug, um, which is pretty easy. You just get like, if you can't, Get it with your finger, you just take a little flat head, squeeze the tab, and pull it up. Alright, I got this one unplugged. This one slid off. This one unplugged. This one unplugged, and you're good to go. And now, we'll start cutting it open. So with these, you want to cut along here, all the way around, all the way around here like this, up top. This is where it gets kind of weird, like you're going to go from this very edge and then you're going to drop it down, come across the top, you know, make sure you don't like, there is like two like little pieces of uh, metal in here too, so be careful, you don't go like way too deep, but deep enough to, you know, to cut through the plastic, because it is pretty thick plastic, but yeah, you still got the uh, internal stuff in here too, so you got to be careful with that. Um, so you can go all the way around, all the way around, and then you're gonna come from up here, drop it down, cut all the way around this edge, you know, like about this high up, cut around. Same thing from right here, drop it down, run it along the edge, nice clean cut, and then you'll end up meeting back where you started. And once you got that cut, I'm gonna show you how to separate it without breaking everything. Um, and it is one of those things, it's like kind of just like, you stick a little screwdriver in, kind of twist it, pop, twist, pop, and get all the like a little. All right, so a quick little tip. Don't mind the garbage bag on the floor. It's just to catch all the, like the little chunks of plastic. Like I don't want to get that on the rug. Um, so you see it all around, all cut up. It's not gonna look, you know, the best, especially your first time doing it. Because, I mean, and it looks worse because it's like melted plastic, but once you like chip all that away, like a screwdriver or something, like. Yeah. Like, don't be afraid to do this if this is your first time, you know. Um, <laughs> like, I had to learn somehow, and I did it on my own on my own personal lights but 
That's how you, that's how you figure it out, you know? So right now, I'm about to start the process of separating it all. Um, also, with the top part, you are gonna get like kind of hung up on these little tabs that are inside. There is, I believe, it's one, one and two tabs up top. And then there's like something around here that like it holds on every now and again. But <clears throat> with this part, like once you pop it and everything, you're gonna take the whole back end kind of scoop this part out a little bit and then lift it outward like slide it outward towards the end and lift at the same time all right so when you're separating it right you want to take like, your smaller screwdriver and you're going to kind of wedge it in between and you're going to almost turn it a little bit and then while you have that one with one hand you take your slightly bigger one and then do another bigger turn, like, and then do kind of like it's, it's gonna pop. You're gonna hear a bunch of pops of breaking plastic um, all the way around it. But see, it's all separated. See, it just comes off like that once you pop it off of these clips up here and then everywhere else around the bottom. So, depending on how you're gonna do this, um, <coughs> <coughs> and whatever you're going to take apart you always kind of just want to start with taking this reflector off because it makes this end so much more rigid and hard to take out um <coughs> so you've got these two screws right here put them in a safe spot so you don't lose them and then you got one and two right here and then along this edge is one two and three little plastic tabs that if you can put like the little pocket screwdriver right underneath it and like either or you could push it in through the slot you know push it down it'll pop out real easy it just comes kind of like up and out um don't worry you're not gonna break it i mean if you do then that sucks but also this this tab in here goes inside the plastic so that's kind of annoying i usually just cut these off um so i don't have to deal with it later while putting them back in um that doesn't doesn't do anything at like at all really it's not gonna like have this rattling in there like it's pretty secure but you know i've got one two three four screws to remove and then you just kind of put this somewhere over here So now once you get to here, you're going to take like a stiff card or like a squeegee of some sort, kind of wedge it in there, wedge it along some of these sides. You're going to kind of, it's going to be annoying to get out, but you're going to have to pop all of this inner layer out so you can get the internals out and stuff like that. So now that you got this all popped out, popped and popped, you'll more than likely still have like the cards in between, but... It's literally just gonna, you're gonna scoop outward like that, you know, wedge something maybe in between like that little inner corner, slide this out a little bit more that way, pull it up and out, and there you go. Now put your freshly opened lens somewhere so you don't break it, don't, you know, clean it up too, you're gonna have a bunch of residue on the inside that you're gonna wanna clean out and stuff. Um, all right, next what I'll be doing is taking this out and get it in like that. Like right now, I just got this end popped out a little bit. And that's it. Pops out mad easy. All right, so now that the red inner portion is out, now you start putting it all back together. All right, it literally just slides back in. You're going to put the reflector piece back in. Um, but also as of right now this is if you want to do the audi mod see this blue wire right there see this blue wire right there 
well, anyways, the uh, blue wire, if you want to do the Audi mod, you clip this and tuck the rest away. All right, that's all back in. Everything is back where it's supposed to be. Put this back on top too. So now you take the back of the housing, put it right back over. And now you're gonna want a plastic weld it shut. And then take some silicone to it. Make a nice new new seal. So then the water comes in. And uh, you're gonna get like condensation inside your, your new custom lights. All right, so when you're putting it back together, you kind of want to get make sure that these two tabs, you're going to see them, the two metal tabs up top, kind of tuck under first. And there's also going to be some little, like, tongues that stick up on the bottom. I think it's three of them. Um, at the same time, make sure that those are fine. And you literally just push it straight down. Everything's going to line back up. If it doesn't line back up, that means you didn't put it back on the right way. Um, but, yeah, see, that's... That's everything you have to re plastic weld. Alright, so right now just plastic welding it back. What do you got? just like that you know quick and easy just go all the way around where you had cut where you plastic all the back together and you're all done all right so this is a completely sealed up plastic weld it all back and then uh, all you gotta do is just silicone it all the way back all right so this is them all sealed up silicone um for this one you use something called silicone 2 so that it doesn't shrink as much um, when it's done drying and everything like that. But yeah, so get a nice little bead all the way around. Make sure it's all sealed up. It's good to go. So now, right now I'm just waiting for everything to fully, for this to fully dry off, and then tomorrow I'll be doing uh, some paint work. Let's see silicone two. I use clear or black. This is the brand that I use. Yeah, but get your caulk gun. Yeah. 